Hey Richard, thought I'd show you a quick follow-up video to the iris slider issue and then I'll just show you manual calibration as well. I also found another kind of thing that you might find strange, but I think it's related. Um, so right now I've just mapped, this is on iris and it's mapped to here. And hopefully you can see there's 0.2 goes to that line right there and 0.1 goes to the line up there. So right now if I go slow, right now slider's on yes. And so now 0.1 here, no matter what I do, it's going to work fine. It's always going to 1. If I go to 2 down here, it's working perfectly. Okay, now I'm going to put slider to no, and this is where the problem begins. If I go to the top of the travel, which is going to be one in this case. It's going to work fine, no matter what I do. But when I go to the bottom, this is where the problem. Oops, just the camera. So you can already see it's off on that one. But you can see, look at how far it's off. And when I, as I slowly move the travel up, you're going to see it kick back to where it should be. See how it went back to the other way. So it's falling short again. If I go slow, it'll go to the, it will go to the end of the travel. That's why, like in your test, when you just went from the top to the bottom, it might actually work. See, it worked there. But if someone was to do, like if you flick it up and down there, it's not working. It's not. Anyway, so there, look at how far it was off there. So I slowly move the travel up, kicks back. So that's one thing. And then I also just, as I was trying to make this video, I found another glitch. And this is probably related, and that's, I mean, I think it has something to do with the travel being at the bottom. But if I put the iris slider to the bottom, so if right now it should be zero, it will, it's zero in the background. When I try to switch between the slider yes and no, watch what happens. So now that it, I'm gonna keep pushing it, yes, no, and it's actually not doing anything. It's almost like the whole system's out of balance or something. And then it's kind of interesting because if I, um, I'm going to put it on yes, which is the opposite of what it was on. If I touch the slider, it'll like, oh, sorry, it had to be on no. So there, it's on no. If I touch the slider, it's going to kick back in and resume on no. So anyways, that's that issue. And then just to show you manual calibration, so I'm going to go to cal. Manual cal, this is iris. So I'll just set that as the first point. Oops. So that is the first point. And then I'll go just like a centimeter for the next point. And as you'll see, so it should have only turned that far. It's still doing the original calibration.